Uncork, pour, and enjoy. Decant your wine in seconds instead of hours with the Venturi Wine Aerator. If I told you I'm gonna create a piece of plastic that'll make wine taste better, you'd think I'm crazy. The Venturi enhances flavors, aromas, and gives wine a velvety smooth finish. Pour through the Venturi, wow, you don't even get it to your nose when you pick it up. It absolutely works. For the discerning nose or the everyday wine drinker, the Venturi difference is clear. It takes the snobbery kind of out of wine. It's good for any, anybody that enjoys a good glass of wine. Decanting is centuries old. The idea is to pour off the top layer of liquid, leaving behind any sediment or residue. The Romans let the decanted wine sit for hours, believing it brought out a wine's aromas and mellowed harsh tannins. In 2006, electrical engineer Rio Sabadici turned those hours into seconds. He invented the revolutionary Venturi wine aerator. This simple plastic body is an incredible feat of plastics engineering. It is the only resin that's alcohol safe, food grade, clear, and injection moldable. Rio wanted to make the Venturi have the feel and weight of glass. It starts with plastic pellets, like these right here. The key is to use dry pellets. Any amount of moisture means the body will look cloudy instead of clear. The dried pellets are melted before being pushed into an injection mold. Designing the molds for the Venturi proved to be one of Rio's biggest challenges. For about eight months, all I heard is, you can't make that. Everyone looked at his prototype part and told him it could not be done. And I told him the same thing, because it violates every rule of the plastics industry as far as design. The suggested design for the Venturi to hold its shape was to make it in two parts, but Rio wanted it to be like one piece of blown glass. It's a big piece of plastic, needs to be cooled correctly, has an outside curve, which needs to be smooth, and there's varying thicknesses throughout the part, which just makes it a very, very difficult piece to make. But Mark's team was up to the challenge. And I said, okay, we'll do it, but you've gotta be patient. We're gonna have to develop a process to do this. Ultimately, a workable unibody mold was developed. You can see the cavity right in here, where the venturi goes. We have a copper core that formed the bowl. This fits here, and this makes the inside of the venturi. Each mold makes two bodies. So the hot plastic hits this thing here, spreads out through this mold. Once the material is shot into the mold, uh, the cooling process takes place. The rate at which the cooling happens is the key to handling the problem of varying thicknesses in the body. So we came up with a proprietary process to slowly bring that cooling process down rather than let it happen fast. Water is used to cool the molds at a very controlled rate to manage shrinkage that happens as the plastic hardens. If you look in the bottom of this core, you see a little hole. There's a little tube that squirts water up into there. Everything cools off. The molds are then open but the bodies are not fully hardened. The parts are actually malleable, very bendable. You could probably flatten one very flat. The partially hardened bodies are put on a cooling fixture and a pin is inserted into the hole to keep the shape. Those holes will actually close up on us if we don't put a pin in. The Venturi won't work at all with closed holes. After the pins are inserted, there's an additional top secret cooling process. There's about a 15 minute cooling period where we control the temperature of the parts as they cool. After the cooling process, a partial plug made of polypropylene is inserted into the body. And I put a little plug. The plug actually closes the chamber so that the wine passes through and that's where the pressure is developed and pulls the air into it. The body is deburred. Then it's tested for leaks and for functionality by running water through it. I do the water test. We found in the manufacturing that if any measurement is off more than five thousandths of an inch, it doesn't work. So for that reason, every Venturi that's made is individually tested to make sure it aerates properly. The Venturi Wine Aerator lets you uncork and enjoy instantly. The trick is the scientific principle the Venturi is named after. The Venturi effect is when a liquid speeds up as it flows from a wide area to a narrow area. In the Venturi Wine Aerator, as the wine speeds up in the narrow section, it draws in air like a vacuum from tiny holes. Once it enters that region, it's got some pretty good velocity and it's pulling air in through the side air holes. As the wine passes through the plug, it makes a distinct sound. That sound is actually the vortex of the air and the wine mixing. 
that you can actually hear the air being pulled in through the holes. Rio, who was an electrical engineer, came across the Venturi principle while looking for ways to decant wine faster. The first time I had a properly decanted bottle of wine, I couldn't believe how much better it tasted, so I set out to speed up that process. Originally, Rio um, had a uh, table saw and a drill press in his garage, and he was experimenting. Rio came to Larry looking to help him with a prototype, and the operation moved to Larry's garage. I worked on it for about two days and uh, got it working and went over the mop sink and you could hear it whoosh, so I called him up and put the phone down there says listen to this you're gonna come over here hear this thing once they figured out the main body it was just a matter of presentation well I got very lucky I was introduced to a concept car designer and the rendering showed it clear with the black band showing it's a contemporary design the black band and the stand are made of rubber at a separate location. The synthetic rubber starts out clear. It's put through a set of rollers to mix in the black color and an extender compound that helps keep the rubber pliable so it won't dry out and crack with age. Next, the rubber is sent to an extruder that will turn the giant Tootsie Roll into a long, fat black shoelace. The shoelace is injected into a mold machine, which forms the band and the base. It injects the rubber through a gate, and it delivers to individual cavities. And then with pressure and heat, it cures them in eight minutes. The rubber parts are then printed with the logo using very durable silicon ink. It's a silicone-based paint, so be better it won't break. The printing process happens in two steps. We stamp the first bread, we put it in the oven, then we go ahead and put the white stamp on it, like this. Afterwards, the rubber band and stand meet up with the body at assembly and packaging. And I would take the glass base, and the plastic, take the black band and apply it to the glass base, like so. Place the plastic lining on across it. For you for to get shipped. Venturi also makes a special wine aerator for white wine and an aerator for spirits. And I was quite surprised to see how much better spirits taste after going through the Venturi. Using cutting edge plastic techniques and an age old scientific principle, the Venturi makes wine taste delicious and decanting fast and easy. It does touch all the senses. It looks good, it has a unique sound, it makes wine smell better. Of course, it makes wine taste better, and the whole thing feels nice.